fifth graders are exhausted by the time we leave, but it's it's a really rewarding experience for them. They see um, a life outside of North Elementary School that might be a little different than what we experience day to day. problem solving too because they're taking those real life issues like a fight on the playground or pushing or shoving mm -hmm. and those fifth graders are having to help the children solve those problems so it's two kids together solving that and that's the that's the unique piece yeah you learn best what you teach mm -hmm. and that's what our kids get out of this and we Please love, never leave us. We love this we program. We love it. it. I mean, we love it on our end, and it's and good for both sides. It's good for the kids. It's good for the teachers. It's good. It's a win-win for everybody. I think. Yep. strives to do something better each time he does it and um, you know I, I can tell him that that job looks good or that weld looks good and he says sometimes I think I can do that better and he'll go back and he'll spend more time making it better and sometimes it's a little irritating because we got to get stuff done but he wants to make sure that it's done right to his standards and that's what we need we need more kids more young adults to take pride in what they do been really good with math and he lets them practice, he gives them projects and he lets them do it on their own. You know, he doesn't babysit them and I, you know, and I think that's, you know, because you get out in the real world, whenever you're working, you don't have somebody sitting over you babysitting you, you know, it's, it's responsibility. No, she could have, she could have when everybody went to sleep, she could have went up there. Isn't it a nine day journey? Oh yeah. I know. Okay, this so this is where he snuck into his dad's research place. Yeah. was missing and I tried it really liked it was talking to another teacher and we thought it would be nice if we could do this on a larger scale I love to read young adult books and um, I just thought it would be fun and I didn't know any of these kids before and now they're like my children. <laughs> it's a great way to get to know the kids, to connect and you know they, I see them if they're sick and then usually that's when I, so this is nice just to be able to interact and, and just to get different opinions and make predictions and find out we're wrong. I've had a great time. I kind of wish you'd do this next year, so hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the beeping noise on your top?
did it make you feel? Sad. Sad. And why was it sad? Because my sisters didn't have diabetes. Because your sisters didn't have it? It was hard, her being here. She does feel like the outcast. She does feel differently. No one else has us in the school. She was very frustrated. Blood sugars were not doing well. Um, and I wasn't able to help her anymore. She knew I didn't have it. And it just came to a point that I couldn't relate to her. It's been better, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of diabetics struggle with the disease when they first get diagnosed, so it's a lot easier to deal with when you have someone to talk to. Kayla is huh? awesome, and she has been the best help ever. She's breaking through to her in ways that I don't know how because I don't have it. I think she's slowly learning how to deal with everything on her own and um, I think she's doing really well.